What's going on, everybody? As always, it's a blessing to be here. You're here with your exchange. I'm the Crypto Caressa, the Forex Finessa, and the Stock Successa. By that being said, guys, today's topic will be on how low will crypto go and when will crypto bottom out? So we'll be talking specifically about the technical analysis and how much money was lost in this pullback of crypto that just happened yesterday. And by that being said, before we even get into the video, guys, if you guys are new viewers or recurring viewers and you still have not subscribed, then I urge you guys to subscribe to this channel with the bell notification so you can be notified every single time I drop information packed videos just like the one you're watching right now. By that being said, guys, let's get straight into this video after this beautiful intro. 4X, 4X, everything get 4X. <laughs> First thing is first, as always, we're taking a look at the whole cryptocurrency market cap in general. As you guys can see, it has definitely came down. It's at 1.8 trillion. 24 hour volume has pumped back up to 114 billion. Bitcoin dominance, Ethereum dominance covering the same. And you already know Ethereum gas fees. We skipping that one. But let's get straight into the news, guys. So how much money has been lost with Bitcoin since the pullback occurred last night? It was a total of 230 billion decimated in massive red Friday yesterday. So technically yesterday night was Thursday and today morning, today is Friday, but yesterday night and basically around midnight of today was the time that crypto was pulling back and a lot of cryptos, you know, following Bitcoin has even came down and Bitcoin is currently hovering around 38,000 and we'll be taking a look at the whole Technical analysis for Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Baby Dogecoin, and Shiba Inu. We'll just be covering these five in this specific video, but I just want to tell you guys how much money has been pulled out of the crypto. Now let's get straight into the technical analysis aspect. Real quick, guys, before we even get into it, I quickly posted on Twitter. So if you guys are not following me on Twitter, then I urge you guys to follow me so you can get the quick updates like this. Bitcoin just hit 38,300 at 11 hours ago so you guys could have been notified quickly and i even posted this when it was coming down but this is just a quick announcement we can get straight into technical analysis so there we go we're in bitcoin technical analysis bitcoin versus united states dollar this video will be a deep in-depth technical analysis on these five cryptos that i just mentioned so let's get straight into it guys so as you guys can see starting off bitcoin was an uptrend let me show you guys the way I like to do it. Right here. Bitcoin, this whole this whole side of the market right here was an uptrend. And what did it do? It came up, came down, came up, came down, and it is hovering around the strong support level. And I'll tell you guys why it got there. Let me show you guys real quick. There we go. So this trend line was very consistent when Bitcoin was going up and down, up and down in a continuous uptrend momentum. But it broke down below the support of the trend line and also below the support of the horizontal line. So let's dive in a little deeper. We're on the weekly time frame. Let's go to the daily time frame. All right, guys. And I've been telling you guys, crypto will be ready for pump. Big crypto pump is coming but there has to be a major pullback some may see this as a minor pullback you know and a lot of options were going to expire with around 138 million dollars when bitcoin price is below 38,000, and it's definitely coming down there you know but this is a strong support for bitcoin as well so as you guys can see it did this long wick on 4th of december it wicked all the way down to the trend line let's see it was close in my previous video i told you guys it was around 1.82 percentage before even hitting the support trend line let me zoom in and show you guys you see it was around 1.2 or like less than less than that yeah even look at that yeah 0.33 percent before even hitting the trend line that's how close it was to come and testing the support so it definitely came and did what it expected it to do but also what it did do was a quick rejection so pull quick pullback but no big money want to get in at the forty thousand dollar level and no smart money or big money, you can call it whatever you want. Nobody wants to be in at the 68,000 level or even the 50,000, 40,000. 
these people in these zones, the people that are buying up here are the ones that are losing their money because let me explain to you. When they see the price going down, they're going to quickly shift and sell their positions. They don't know anything about holding. They're not accustomed to the markets bleeding. And it's always good when the markets bleed and they will attract people to, to get out of their positions. That's when you enter. Whenever you see these pullbacks, dollar cost your average entrance and your, your point of entry on these markets. It can be crypto, forex, stocks. And then you can get in at a better position and the price will be on your side. But that's the main reason people on this side that bought are losing because they keep selling their positions. Because the smart money and the big money are trying to get at the support level here of 38,000 and below. And I'll tell you guys how low Bitcoin can go, honestly speaking. It's always an upside, but it has to hit these major lows before it can reverse back up and keep going up. So now it's currently at 38,470. And if we just scroll up quickly, it came all the way down to... Look at this, 37,719. So that's a percentage drop. Let's even do the percentage drop from yesterday and see how low did it go. You see, 13.34 percentage is how low it came from yesterday's price point. That's a $5,804 loss in the price movement that Bitcoin just did. But we're at the support level and we have seen how low it already came and how strong is this support. This support is pretty strong, but it's not as stable and it wasn't as consolidative as this one. As you guys can see, this was super consolidated, but it went up and down from the bottom price range of 39639 to all the way up to 45215 And this was where the price was trying to mimic the same exact movement happening over here in October 2021. Let me show you guys. As I told you guys, this is an in-depth. So subscribe to this channel, guys. I'm giving you guys great information. But you guys can see here, same type of mimicking movement occurring, but something had to get. The uptrend momentum or the resistance up here was extremely strong, the same as this one, but it did not break through it because there wasn't enough buying power. So what did it do? It came to test it, but hey, I am weak right now. It's too much people shutting the roof down. I couldn't break through the roof. So it came all the way down and busted through the bottom. So it's a mimicking price action that was going on and it broke through the bottom while this price on October or September 31st or October 1st broke above the resistance to the top and kept going. So this is another major support level at $38,000. As I told you guys, price came down around $37,700. But if price breaks below this level, how low can Bitcoin go? This is specific question that we all need to answer and be smart with our answer because as much as we all love to see crypto doing very well we have to be realistic with the numbers so our expectations will not be diverted when these numbers go below what we're expecting them to go so being real i can definitely see this as a strong support level but then again guys it can go up if it goes up it's going to test this level as a resistance of 41,640. So, and this is a very major strong resistance. Even if it passes through 41,640, the strong major resistance is at 44,410. So it has two resistances to go to, but the support is already there. And it only has one major support to go to after this level of 38,664. The next support level is around 34,150. Let's go to the weekly time frame. As stated before, just to give you guys a quick heads up and a reminder, this is below the 70%, but it's still the Fibonacci level is perfectly fine. Nothing has been, you know, done bad. So we, can, we have to redo the whole drawing again. So the next support level I see, as I said, is around this level, 34,000 over here. But if it fails below that one, it's definitely coming to 28,000. That's my price analysis for Bitcoin. That's what I'm trying to get to. I want to give you guys the honest truth and the facts. You decide what you want to do with it at the end of the day. But I'll present you guys with the truth and the facts. You make the final call. Moving on to XRP. We already know these prices are rigged. So I'll just give you guys a technical analysis on what we are seeing currently for XRP. But this is definitely not where XRP should be. By that being said... Where can I see XRP going? 
as i told you guys xrp follows bitcoin to a certain extent but not all the way like the other cryptos which i mean i'll show you guys when i go to ethereum how low ethereum has came to so big so xrp for the whole week has came down 15 percent and if we go down to the daily time frame yeah since yesterday alone xrp has came down 9.57 percent okay i have already drawn the support levels for xrp so i can show you guys where the next price point is headed just like bitcoin and made this wick on december 4th and it came back up to test the resistance at a dollar and it was too strong so the same thing with bitcoin it follows bitcoin to a certain extent because this is where the market is looking like but when xrp is done with this lawsuit and it's doing its own thing it is it is out of the line of following bitcoin even to a certain extent it's doing its own thing in its own lane like some of these meme cryptocurrencies are doing even when the whole market cap is tanking they keep on rising and rising and you guys can see the support level over here of 65 cents is the one i already called for xrp i told you guys it will come down here because this was not looking like a good support level and, and good resistance because this was already too strong of a resistance that I had to come down and test something which it definitely did it came all the way down to the next support level of 66 cents but then again this support level is, is strong but if something happens and on fundamentals for example such as the news something comes up with the sec or ripple something bad happens or even if it's a good case but the crypto market and the whole is going down then i can see xrp coming to z support levels of 53 cents definitely i can see it coming down if something ticks off in the markets i can see it coming down just like the other cryptos at 53 cents that's why i drew these support zones so when it happens i'm ready to call it out and tell you guys hey it happened this is what you need to do you know i'm not a financial advisor by any means but what i would do if i was in your position and this is the minimum of the lowest 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 support level i would expect xrp to come to but i won't even touch basis on 21 cents unless it even comes below the 52 cents if it comes to 52 cents and we have 21 cents that's another viable support for xrp so moving on to the next cryptocurrency in line which is ethereum and i'll show you guys what i mean by follows bitcoin just take a look at this it was at three thousand three hundred forty eight dollars and now it came all the way down just like bitcoin around 20 percent 18 percent and it dropped 616.37 dollars in this loss that it did over here and this is big this is ethereum and it has not even hit the 70 percent level yet so that's what i was saying about ethereum same thing like bitcoin but bitcoin already hit it already hit the 70 percent it's already below the 70 percent level but ethereum didn't even come and test the 70 percent level so there's a high chance that ethereum can come down to these levels which i have said before at 2654 dollars definitely high chance so not everything i can i say in these markets are 100 percent right but when it comes to technical analysis skills guys don't mean to brag like i always say but i'm definitely sure that it will hit this it will hit these numbers again i'm not 100 percent right all the time but definitely if it comes below it's hitting 2646 dollars that's the 70 percent mark that's the first support level for it as it has already wicked down price over here on september 20 and hit the 70 percent mark but this is a different zone over here so this is not even qualified for this specific zone and over here again guys this support level is a major one on the daily time frame which is at 2400 if the 2600 support level fails as stated before over here this is where price wants to come so how far away is it even from the wick the bottom wick that it did let's let me just do you know i like to get all the numbers down straight to 2600 flat or around 2600 flat it's 4.82 percent away as you guys can see that's not too far away from hitting the 70 percent just like these zones over here it's mimicking these zones and the next support level as i said is over here at two thousand four hundred seventy seven dollars that's where i see ethereum going ethereum you know is having a lot of troubles major issues right now even with the ceo of ethereum vitalik buterin coming out and saying i'm not very sure on ethereum 2.0 and how well we can develop it so he came out earlier saying they may be done by the end of this year or even halfway through the year 
but it's not looking likely as that, you know, as that being said. But to keep it honest, guys, Ethereum is a great cryptocurrency, but the fees are what's killing the whole ecosystem of Ethereum. They have to do something major to transform how people look at Ethereum. Because nobody with big money wants to get in. And there was even a specific tweet somebody tweeted. They were trying to withdraw around just doing a you know, hypothetical thing around $1.6 billion and comparing Ethereum gas fees to Cardano gas fees. It was around, I believe it was $1.6 billion or $5.6 billion trying to withdraw. The Cardano gas fees was around $78,500, which is still insane. Why would I pay $78,500 to withdraw? 1.6 billion it, it seems a little equivalent but there's better alternatives and better options to use than cardano and ethereum and when they were trying to see how much it would cost for ethereum it was around 50 or 33 million dollars to withdraw your money that's the main reason people don't like ethereum including me the gas fees are something they have to work really extremely hard to eradicate and bring it to a fewer dollars or even fewer pennies to see this project really boom and see the full potential of it. So next we'll be moving on to Shiba Inu, our favorite cryptocurrency meme coin with utility. So let's keep on talking about it. As I said before, it's hit the 70%, but the consolidation is very strong. As you guys can see, it came down to four zeros and the two, four, eight, five. So everything is looking solid. If it comes down below here, let's go to the day time frame and see what's the next support level for this. See, it's still below the trend line mark for resistance. And it still has to come back and hit these four zeros and the three nine. Matter of fact, you can just put a four zeros and a four. But the next support level I see for Shiba Inu is at these levels over here which is at four zeros and a two one. And I'm not saying I highly doubt it for it to reach these levels. It's not highly plausible for Shiba Inu to come down below the support as this is a very major, major support. Even let's see how long this consolidated for for 15 days. So if, if it even, even if it does 15 day consolidation at this support level, we can see a price boom. And in the next video I'm posting, I'm talking about Robinhood and Shiba Inu. So I'll get more detail into that video, but taking a look at Shiba Inu from here, this looks like a major strong support, but if it falls down below, I already told you guys where it's headed, but I highly doubt the fall of Shiba Inu. And the next one is Baby Doge. So as I have said it before, let me let me correct this. It broke the previous all-time high of 2021, but not the all-time highs of all-time highs because all-time highs are around eight zeros and the eight. In the last video, I was saying six zeros and I corrected it. It's definitely eight zeros, guys. If it was six zeros already, it would have been big news. So my mistake on that part. But as you guys can see, it was eight zeros and the six it hit came down to retest the support level, which did very strongly came back up. And then when the crypto crash yesterday came down to eight zeros and the four, eight, two, six. And it is hovering in that zone. So this is a specific zone that Baby Doge is stuck in between the resistance and the support level. So I can quickly show you guys over here. So yes, resistance and support level is definitely stuck between those two markers. And that's what I see for baby Dogecoin. I don't see it moving too much because it has moved up high, but it's also burning every single day. Like I said, they're implementing a lot of catalysts for, for baby Dogecoin and many things are in place for baby Dogecoin. Just have to wait on it, but it has very strong support level as seen as I have already cracked above the previous all time high and it's still stabilizing above the previous all-time high and that's the major news for all these cryptocurrencies so thank you for watching so far guys i know it's a long video but it's an in-depth video so i want you guys to understand what's really going on in these markets and how low can the prices of cryptocurrencies come before they shoot right back up so don't be too don't make it seem too dramatic when you see these price actions in these cryptocurrencies just stay on top of your games as always stay vigilant in these markets and stay strong and don't sell too quickly and only put in as much as you're able to afford to lose. So by that being said, guys, subscribe to this channel. Share this video with all your family members and anyone that's interested in the financial market so you guys will be financially thriving and financially successful instead of just being financially stable. By that being said, guys, again, subscribe to this channel. God bless you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.